Hello guys and welcome back to Notes Naka. From this video, we are going to start solving the problems. Now, uh, if you are worried about the fact that you don't know anything or you cannot solve it, then don't worry. If you need to, then just access this book and go through it. And if not, if you are ready, then let's get started. And before that, uh, if you need to watch any of the videos of this series, it's all a playlist on our channel Notes Naka. So you can go ahead and access it from there and if you are watching this for the first time then i highly recommend that you start from the first video and do it along uh, in the same manner as it is uploaded as it will help you only and if not then let's get started with this video so we have weird algorithm which is our first question in this entire 200 problem set and don't don't get overwhelmed by the questions we will do it just keep calm and do the questions we all can do it together now uh, in this question what we have to do is we take a positive integer n and we find out if it is an odd or even number if it is odd then what we do is multiply it by 3 and add 1 and then print it and if it is even then we just divide it by 2 and then print it so basically we have a number n which is 3 if n is 3 then first comes 3 and it is odd so what we do is multiply it by 3 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 10 now we have 10 and uh, what we do for 10 is it is even so we divide it so we get 5 and similarly we do the entire thing until we get 1 so this is a very basic question. I hope you have understood it. If you have understood the question, then pause the video right here. Go ahead and write the code yourself. Don't just look at the answers. First try it yourself and then go ahead. So if you are ready to discuss the question, then here we go. What we will do is I have written the code. Now, uh, I hope it is I mean okay if I write the code and then show it to you because I find it easier that way and uh, the problems which will need pen and paper explanation I will do that too but this is a very basic problem so just let's, let's just do it right here so we have an int n we took it from the user c in and then first of all we uh, printed out the number itself then we ran the loop until n is 1 and if n percent 2 is equal to equal to 0 that means if n mod 2 is equal to 0 then it is even then n is equal to n by 2 and then see out n right there and if it is not even then it is odd then what we will do n into 3 plus 1 and then see out over there and this loop will run till n is not equal to 1 now let's run so here we were given 3 as our input so let's check it with 3 so we put 3 and then control plus b will do our work so here we have the answer you can match it it's same so basically we have our answer now let's submit it well i am also doing it for the first time so let's see what happens submit and choose file go to desktop i have everything in cp and this is our executable file and now i don't know if i should upload this or this no i think i should upload that okay before that we have to comment all of this i forgot and we have all that commented ctrl uh, plus forward slash will do it and after that save it and then i think i have to upload this file not that one so let's do it again choose file uh, desktop cpp main cpp open and c++ we got this by itself and if we submit okay it's testing ready okay so we got output limit exceeded now why did that happen if we see the problem uh, task we have to see our constants so what is it? n will go up to 10 to the power 6. So obviously int cannot hold that much number. So we will have to use something longer than that. And what do we, do we mean by longer? We will use long. So long, long. 
just to be in safer side i used long 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 i don't know if you can use only long, long also so after that i will submit it again let's see what happens now main.cpp open we got it okay submit mm, accepted so now it worked so uh this was pretty basic question i hope you understood don't forget to use this book along in the way if you need it but i will be explaining everything that i read from this book basically the int thing i learned from here only so basically you have to uh, check the constants before you uh, use the values like int long and all so keep that in mind so we have it accepted and yes we did our first question and i hope you liked it if you like this video then give us a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and we will be back with a new question again till then take care and bye bye